you know, obviously we wish we could run a lot stronger than that, but, uh, you know, I don't know where we're qualified, three, four, five, six, six, I don't know where we're at. But, uh, can you give top me stats? Four. four? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, how can you be disappointed with four? I mean, uh, we worked really hard to get there. Um, you know, we have to be grateful for everything that we have. Uh, we have to be humble out there, you know. I mean, this, this drag racing, I mean, it's uh, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, I'm really, really excited that we have uh, Tasca tomorrow, get an opportunity to take a team car out. Uh, it's one less leg for him to stand on, you know. So uh, hopefully we can uh, we can go up there and, uh, and do well, you know. But the uh, only, only thing I can do is, is uh, get some good sleep tonight, get a good dinner in me, and uh, wake up with a big smile on and uh, know that we got a shot out there. I mean, other than that, you can't worry about it. You can't lose any sleep over it. So uh, it'll be what it'll be, and hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll turn out to our favor. You know, Matt, there's been a tremendous amount of attention paid to you because it is your second year in Funny Car. How do you deal with it on a day to day? Well, you know, I mean, other than feeling like you want to puke every day, but no, uh, I mean, it's uh, you know, it's great to have the attention. That means that we're getting some some uh, ink out there for our sponsors. You know, we're getting some ink out there for Die Hard and, uh, and you know, DSR and everybody else, you know. Uh, uh, you know, the way I look at pressure is if we don't have pressure right now, then we're not doing our job, you know. I mean, this is when we're supposed to have pressure because we're, we're out there getting it done. We're, we're getting it, you know, we're so close to winning this thing. And, uh, you know, if, if we're up here and we're laid back, that means we're not in contention to win anything. So, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, the pressure is a good thing. You know, you got to turn it into a positive and... Uh, Make sure that you uh, you don't make any mistakes up there. To what do you contribute your strong performance this year, being only your second year in this class? Uh, I could I contribute my strong performance this year to Tommy Delago. I mean, this guy he's an animal. Uh, love him to death. You know, I mean, he's uh, he's an up and coming crew chief, just like I'm an up and coming driver. And uh, that guy. He's, I think you're going to see lots of things from him in the future, lots of great things. So uh, whether, you know, I hopefully can work with him for a really long time. I mean, if I, you know, at least my career will be better if I do, I think. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of Tommy and the guys. And, uh, you know, I'm just, just a great opportunity. You know, I'm, I'm just so excited to be here. And tomorrow I want to wake up and, uh, you know, just know that I have an opportunity to go out there and win a championship second year into it. It's cool. And I sure am glad we're leading instead of chasing. How much has your attitude grown since the beginning of the year? I don't know. I mean, you know, it, it's kind of, uh, we, we try to take everything day to day right now. You know, I mean, you can't look at the big picture because it, it's not said and done. You know, I mean, I think if, mm -hmm. if you get too far ahead of yourself, uh, you know, uh, it's easy to get lost out here. It's just there's so much going on and these cars are hard enough to drive. Uh, you just need to go up there and pay attention to your job at hand, and the rest will take care of itself. I mean, I know that we have, I'm 100% I'm confidence in our guys, 100% uh, confidence in Tommy DeLago. So, uh, you know, all I can do is go up there, leave on time, keep it in the groove, and turn the wind light on. And if I do that, it, I, you know, I, I, I can't hang my head with so, so low if we don't get it done. Did you know Tommy from the back of the race or anything? No, I, I, I think I might have raced against Tommy. Uh, When we ran Gilby, yeah, but uh, I didn't really know Tommy. You know, I, I, you know, first time that I ever saw Tommy was uh, was in a magazine. You know, it was talking about Gilby's when he had the auto leg deal, I think. So uh, it was kind of cool to read that article and stuff, and then finally work with the guy. It's like, whoa, you know, everything kind of happens for a reason. It's just weird. It's kind of uh, like, you know, I, I probably didn't read a whole lot of magazines back then, and I read one of his articles. You know, so uh, it's a neat deal. I love him to death. He's a very, very smart crew chief, and uh, I know we're gonna go out there and get it done tomorrow. I know, like Ashley and Guido will sometimes like keep her keep things in perspective, but with a sense of humor. And I, Tommy's got a real weird sense of humor. Yeah, there's no sense of humor with Tommy. It's, uh, <laughs> it's straight. I was trying to crack up with him the other day. I put on a Santa hat. You know, I did a Bass Pro deal. Uh, for full throttle, and uh, I, I stuck on a Santa Claus hat, and he was like, what are you doing, kid? You were up here trying to win a championship, you know, but you got to lighten the mood a little bit, you know, I mean, all this stuff, you know, trying to win, win, win uh, is great, you know, and I love it. I love the competition. I love getting up there and just trying to, you know, just kill the guy beside you, but um, you're, you're not literally, but you know, what I mean. yeah, and, <laughs> the, uh, uh, you know, but you got to have fun, too, you know, I think that it's so easy to lose sight of uh, coming up here and having a good time. There's only a small handful of people in the world that get to drive these cars. And, uh, you, you know, sometimes you can take it too serious. Obviously, we have a job to do, and uh, we want to do it to the, to the best of our ability. But you got to have fun, keep it light, you know, keep everybody smiling. You know, uh, it, you know, this is, this is you know, first and goal right now, and, and we, we got 10 yards to go. So 
um, you know, we just got to keep our heads down and our ears laid back. You know, it's kind of like an old mule when it's about ready to kick you. You know, you just you just watch out. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's just cool to be here. I'm just excited to, uh, to have this opportunity. What were the track conditions on that run? They were pretty good, actually. I mean, we we went up there last night and weren't aggressive enough, and it shook the tires. So uh, I knew that we would uh, we would go for it. It hiked the tire up pretty pretty uh, for a long ways. I mean, it picked the front wheels up for uh, it felt like a good hundred feet, but obviously, you know, it, it probably wasn't that far. But uh, I hadn't felt it pick the wheel up that that far for a while, and I knew it was glued in tight. Um, you know, we slowed it down a little bit on top end just because uh, it spun the tire pretty hard earlier today. And you know, I think that was the difference in uh, in, in our run right there. Is we probably slowed it down a little bit, and and uh, but that that's for Tommy Delago to say. You know, I just drive the thing, but it felt real glued in early. Uh, it felt like there's plenty left out there. So I know uh, come early morning when the when the sun's still uh, still young in the sky, it'll uh, it'll he'll he'll go up there and stand on it. Okay. Are your kids out here this weekend? No, nah, my kids aren't here. Just the wife. Uh, my mother-in-law is going to uh, watch them for us. So it'll be the. The first time in three months that me and my wife will finally have a date together. So, uh, yeah, it'll be neat to kind of hang out and, and uh, spend some time with her. But uh, it's cool that she's out here supporting me and uh, my family, my mom and dad, my brother are here too. So, um, yeah, it's great to have some support around you on the other side of the world here for us. So, uh, it, it, it's just neat. I mean, uh, hopefully we can all celebrate, you know, and uh, it'll be a good thing. But uh, I know they're hoping to win, and we are too. And we'll just go up there and line them up and see what happens. No, not really. You know, the only thing my son cares about right now is that I bring him a toy home, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And Wally, anything. He just wants something, so, uh, you know, uh, I gotta always remember to try to pick something up for him, so. Other than that, he's like, just go fast, Daddy, you know, but uh, it's uh, it is cool, you know, they eventually one day I'll probably take it all in perspective. Larry's, Larry's kids take it to while he's out in the sandbox and play with them and baptize them and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. It's, uh, yeah, mine, uh, mine stay in my dad's office, you know, so, yeah, but, uh. Kids can't get older. Yeah, not yet, not yet. But, cool, guys. Thanks, man. Thank you.